Hi, welcome to Renee Marie's Stroke of Luck. I'm Renee Marie, and we are going to have a fabulous show today. We have some of the best guests. Um, Johnny P., who does a late night show, kind of like Johnny Carson, I would say myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, Deborah Toscano. She is a phenomenal, angelic singer. She was on our show one other time, and she actually sang a song that really touched our hearts. And we're saving that song for the uh, telethon. So we're really, really happy um, to have both those guests on the show. You know, we're, we're, we're 30 days away, 30 days away from our countdown. We're on the countdown to the telethon. We are going to rock the world in stroke and aphasia awareness. And uh, our telethon is on March 20th, 2016. Um, it benefits the stroke American Stroke Association, the um, Head Injury Association, and of course our foundation, Renee Marie's Language of Love. We are so proud and so happy that together we're changing the face of stroke and aphasia locally and around the globe. We, we really mean that, you know. Um, it really matters to, to, to everyone that you were aware of the signs of strokes because you can save someone's life, your own life, or anyone's life. So please, please, l you know, look up strokes. You can follow the fast on... Um, on, uh, on, you know, on uh, the internet. You can get, download the, um, the American Stroke Association has an app, so you can always Google this, you know, you can always go to that app to find the signs. It really, really is important. So watch us on March 20th, 2016. We are gonna rock. We have fabulous entertainers, fabulous um, speakers and doctors and nurses and healthcare industries. We are rocking the world. So. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you on March 20th. Now we're going to introduce our, round, our uh, guest today, um, just one of our guests, and then in the next segment, Johnny will come on. But let me first introduce my special correspondent and uh, the language of love everything and the telethon everything. <laughs> and she does everything, and she actually books everybody for this show. So without Judy Marlowe Rotway, nothing would happen. So... We are so blessed to have Judy Marlowe Ratway yes. on the show. Thank you, Thank you Judy. <laughs> yay! Yay, Judy. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> so, and then, and then we have our wonderful guest, Deborah Toscano. Yay! Hey, We're not allowed to yell because Tommy, Tom yells at me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, yell so, in silence. I got to be, I got to be a little bit quiet. <laughs> Shh. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Renee. How are you? I'm so wonderful. Deborah and I are always like Facebooking each other yes. and texting each other and, and everything. And it's really, you know, it's hard to always get together because we're all so busy yeah. doing what we'd love to do. Mm -hmm. And it really does take 24 7. It's not like I'm going to work <laughs> nine to five, you know, and, you know. So, yeah. so you're singing every Friday and Saturday. Promote that. Yes, I sing every Friday and Saturday at a fabulous Italian restaurant in um, Hicksville. Uh, it's called De Bello's Italian Restaurant and Bar. And, uh, yeah, we, you know, we started out on a Wednesday night, and then they moved me to the prime nights, which were Fridays and Saturdays, and it's just been a win-win for everybody. I mean, great food. I always say when I put yeah. up my, my Facebook yeah. post, great food, great friends, and some great music. Yes, As great, a music. Plug. <laughs> great music. And Deborah's going to be singing later on the show. Deborah's yeah. going to be singing a song, and then we're going to sing together, and then we're going to, of course, we're going to roll out with I Believe in Music. Yes. And, by the way, we're reaching out to you, Mac. Yes. We're reaching out to you. Mm -hmm. I've been giving you a call We're reaching very out to you. shortly. We're reaching out to you because <laughs> our goal and objective is to record I Believe in Music with you. Yay! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. It's good. It's awesome. good. Awesome. So how is your production company going? So South Productions is doing really, really well. Uh, we have a bunch of different... Uh, projects on the plate. Uh, my number one project is my screenplay, Bohemia, uh, which we had to kind of put on the back burner for right now because my director has a bunch of projects on his plate that he cannot get to Bohemia. We were supposed to start production in January, and we had a couple of hiccups along the way, uh, also with location and right. different things. So uh, hopefully fall of 2016 we'll start production, and uh, the whole cast is, uh, is set. Pretty but you much. know what? You know what? I never realized. I never, like, you know, I think the population wouldn't realize how long it takes oh. to put together 
I mean, a, a project because, yes. you know, first it has to be a thought. Then that thought has to go to paper. Mm -hmm. Then you have to go out and get funding because, right. yes. or, or you need volunteers. And we're still to, in the process of that. Like yeah. funding, we're still in the yeah. process of raising the funds to, to do the, uh, I, I wish I was independently wealthy. <laughs> I really wanted to win the lottery that time. Me uh, too. But uh, we're still raising the funds. And, you know, it's, it's funny because, and speaking on what you just said, Renee, you know, it's a huge, huge undertaking. It's not just, I wrote a, I wrote a screenplay. Let's do it. You yeah. know, there's yeah. everything involved. Yeah. And, in then, then you, and then, then really, you need to, you need to get people to believe in your yes. visions because most of the time, like with my foundation and my telethon and everything, right. you know, it's just it's inside me. It's like you know, we, like I want to do this, I want to do this. It's right. bursting and out. It's bursting, yeah. but but nobody, not everybody will understand it. Right. Not any, but everybody gravitates towards it. You right. know, everybody's right. in their own world. And that's why you just got to keep going and going and going. Plugging, right? You, know, you got to keep when, plugging. When you're creative and when you're doing something like that, um, you know, there's always that person that says, "Oh, that's so nice, dear. Yes, yes. You know, oh, that's cute. Yes. Uh, pass the salt. You know, that's yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like they don't get it. When you're creative and you're an artist and you create and you're doing, you know, there's just so much involved in it, and it's your life. And you know, I have a, a lot of people that always say to me, um, "So, did you ever think of trying out for Broadway or try to record a song?" And I laugh because you know, I've been doing this you're my so whole life. You're so far beyond that. So be to give us a little history, I know, like, give us a little history, like, because I don't think you told us where you came from and what you did and well, how old okay. you, did you tell us that last time? Well, I, I, I was hatched out of a little egg. <laughs> 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 no, um, I come from a musical family right here on Long Island. Um, my dad is a musician, he's been a musician oh, since he was a kid, and, uh, uh, you know, we're an Italian family, so my, fir my the first instrument my dad played was the accordion. So that was wow. the first instrument that my sister and I both learned. Wow. And I was five, and he put a little wow. red accordion on me. I never forget the day. Put the accordion on, and he said, do you, do you want to learn how to play? And I was like, sure. I knew nothing. I, what did right. I know? You're right. And then I studied throughout the years, and then I, I quickly changed to piano. When I was ten, I wanted a piano, and they bought a piano in the house. And my oh, father God. played piano as well, because he's yeah, a music yeah. teacher. He yeah, has yeah. his own school. Oh, he is? Wow. He has his own music school in, in Astoria, Queens, Frank Toscano Music. Well, and, I'm going to uh, say it again. Frank Toscano Music in Astoria, Queens, right on Steinway Street. He's been there 100,000 years. Wow. Um, yeah, he's a mu private music teacher. And uh, so, and I've, I've taught voice for, for the studio as well. But um, I played piano, and then when I learned that I could sing, Oh my god. I didn't want to do anything else. It's not even it's, you know what? <laughs> it's not even about learning you could sing. It's learning about what you could do with right. your voice right. and That's how right. you can capture people. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Because everybody can sing. Everybody could, but to have the capabilities to communicate with right. people through music. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. so beautiful. To be, you have to, to have the voice too. You well, to be to able to to, to have that um, to be able to connect with people, whether yes. it's through playing uh, yes. an instrument or yes. through your voice. I find it more personal, obviously, because right. your voice is in you. you right. know, your voice is your right. instrument in your right. body. Right. But, um, but, but I, I know piano players that, oh, yeah. that it's almost like they're a part of the piano. 100%. And they just, and the, the way that they play, it's just so oh, yeah. precious and Oh God, it's beautiful. It's it really is like the piano is a part right, of them. They're a right. part of the piano. And, they, and you're moved. I mean, I I always say this. You know, when you when you're watching someone play, that's a, an experience in itself. But uh, when you hear someone and you're not actually physically seeing them, and they can move you, then they've done their job. Right. And right. that's what I always strive to do. Right. Right. And and I even watch like you know I watch American Idol and The Voice and stuff because I love when kids are inspired to the passion to do what they do and especially when they have their families behind them. Right. Yeah, yeah. But, but, you know, they'll tell you that it's not only about the voice. Right. It's about connecting with your audience. It's about um, making a difference. It's about, you know, finding your own voice. And some of the, some of the voices are very unique. They're, mm -hmm. not, they're not pure and precious, but they have a way to deliver and they have a way to, to speak that That's just, true. it's yeah. so beautiful. And, and it really it goes from opera to, you know, oh, to yeah. jazz to... To, the, 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 the yes. realm of music. Yes. All the do you realm. speak? Do you sing in Italian? Mm, I do. Uh, <laughs> I phonetically. I read yeah. the words. I, you know. Well, at least you can read them. I'm kidding. Volare. Very minimal. Yeah. You know, stop the vagina. I mean, I learned all those songs. Ah. I mean, I, I don't do them on a regular basis, but I read the words, and everybody's like, "You speak beautifully." I'm like, "It's the words." I'm reading. I'm, <laughs> I can read. I can you, read them. Do you know what you're saying? Um, no. <laughs> Not at all. Well, but I, it sounds like I yeah. do. <laughs> I'm actually um, I'm Cuban, so you know I speak fluent Spanish. Oh, so wow. I'm in the process, and that's one of my bucket lists. You know, bucket list to record only in Spanish. Right. I have one song recorded in Spanish. Oh wow! What is it's the name an original. Of it? um, uh, Yo no puedo 
llorar, yo creo, yo, I'm, I'm talking in Spanish. <laughs> yo, yo no puedo llorar. Yo no sé cómo llorar. What does so, that mean? What does that mean? Um, you make me cry. Oh. You make me cry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's good. It's yeah. good. No, to have another language is, I, like, I would love to be able to speak Italian fluently. Um, and that's, again, like, like you said on your bucket, that's definitely on the bucket yeah. list to yeah. uh, yeah. buy Rosetta Stone. Yeah. Not that we're promoting anybody, but to buy Rosetta Stone <laughs> and learn and learn. I love you know? Spanish music. I love other Latin, oh, yeah. you know, because it's, it's so sensual. Oh, yeah. You know, the way oh, yeah. that they yeah. sing and just the way that they mm -hmm. feel the music, it's just incredible. It's a whole other world of yeah. music. It yeah. is. It is. Yeah. So when you started playing the accordion? Started playing the accordion, and then I moved to the piano when I was about 10, 10, 11. And then uh, when I started to sing, my father brought me on, uh, back in the day, we called them club dates. They're gigs, right. you know, like right. weddings, right. parties, right. Right. this right. and that. And I was 12. I mean, I right. literally was 12 years very old. Very good I was experience. Old. Very good experience. And I learned to perform live, and I was fronting the band before I knew it. And we played for years. We did uh, a ton right. of work together, me and my dad, and right. uh, which was so awesome to say that, you know. And it's funny because we'd go on the gigs, and I would announce the band at the end of the night. Um, I'd say, you know, oh, on keyboard, Frank Toscano, and myself, <laughs> and Deborah Toscano. And everybody would come over later, and they'd be like, oh, you and your husband are so wonderful. Like, ew, ew. <laughs> so I quickly got a stage name. I changed my name to Deborah Austin for a very, very oh, long yeah? time. Oh, really? So for many years, I was known as Deborah Austin, and I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> you know, I don't look like an Austin. I'm a Toscano. I'm so ethnic, you know, so I went back to Toscano. That's funny. Speaking of your dad, we have a photo of you and your dad. J Vicky, can you show the photo of um, <gasps> Judy and her dad? Oh, Judy. Judy and her dad. And the reason that's really, I, you know, we, we just, Judy just sent it to me and I thought it was really important to put on the show because that is the main reason that she does what she does with our foundation. Oh, wow. Her, tell tell uh, Deborah a little bit. Well, my dad was very active, very community service oriented. He was uh, president of his Rotary Club. And then, uh, in the years after that, that was 56, 57, he was a um, treasurer. And once you take the job of a treasurer, <laughs> they don't let you give it up. And he did it till he couldn't see. Oh, wow. And then eventually he, um, he had a stroke. And he was paralyzed on his whole left side. So uh, I went to visit him mm -hmm. six hours a day and oh, did whatever wow. I could. I took a part-time job instead of working full-time. And I hired someone to be there during the morning hours when I couldn't be there. Right. And I just did everything. She was a good for daughter. Her. Yeah, was, absolutely. She was a and good I wanted, daughter. I wanted, and the reason I got involved in this with Renee is that I, I feel her mission is the same mission that I. Right. That's dr driving me. And, and it's very close driven. to my heart. Right. I'm yeah. telling you, yeah. she's yeah. driven. She's driven. She's relentless with the emails. Yeah. Yes. She's good with yes. it. And I mean that in a good way. And, and like, John, John, you John you leave an account for that when it comes <laughs> out. He goes, she. Just don't call she me at four thirty in the morning, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna mention that inside joke. joke. <laughs> Girl power. But before yeah. we go, um, you're gonna sing on the telethon. I am. I'm so excited. This will be my first first telethon, yeah. and I'm yeah. thrilled that you asked me to do this. I mean, I'm I'm oh, so honored and you're thrilled, the best. and and uh, I just you know I have to say this. Whenever you want me on the show, I'm, I'm, I'd love to come on because I love you ladies. Oh, I love you so much fun. And it's just, you're just so <laughs> mutual. You're, you're a part of the team. You're just so wonderful. You're and the Renee, part of the team. You're just such a love. And, and you know, Renee was saying earlier quickly uh, about us, you know, we communicate on, on Facebook Messenger and we don't always get a chance to, to call and talk, but um, we did have a wonderful conversation a couple of weeks ago and uh, that really touched me. I just want you to know that. And wow. she's just such a good friend and uh, she's a believer in the things that I do, and that means the world to me. And I really, I really appreciate that. And thank you from the hey. bottom of my heart. Oh, I really welcome. mean that. So oh, I love Renee and I love Judy. So <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm, I'm yes. happy to yes. be on, on the video oh, okay, anytime. Yeah. But, but, wait, wait. She's you're, hired. All right. You're a far, part of the team, officially a part of the team. Sorry, we have so many people on this team that we can keep the show going for years and years and years. <laughs> it's without true. commercials. It's without awesome. commercials. But um, speaking of commercials, Judy, we got to take a quick commercial. And we'll be right back with Johnny P. Be right back. <laughs> Hi, I'm going to do a live commercial. Hi, I'm Renee Marie, the president and founder of Renee Marie's Language of Love Foundation. I would like to personally invite you to our annual, second annual, telethon held here, right here on Madhouse TV. Did you know that nearly 80% of strokes could be prevented? By knowing the signs 
and getting to the hospital within a four and a half hour window, you could save your life or someone's you love life or anyone's life. Strokes do not discriminate who it affects and at what time. A stroke can happen at any time and have a, play a huge impact in your life. Do you know what aphasia is? It is a result of a stroke or brain injury, which affects the ability to speak and communicate. Think about how you would feel if you cannot express yourself, even in the simplest forms. I am blessed to say that I am a stroke survivor and can humbly speak of the experience of how it feels to express myself, to not be able to express myself, and not to understand. It is devastating. Please join us Please on join March 20th, 2016 on Madhouse TV for our Language of Love Telethon, which supports strokes and aphasia. You can visit our website at www.languageoflovetelethon.org. Together, we are lifting our voices and changing the face of strokes and aphasia around locally and around the globe. God bless you, and I'll see you on Madhouse TV on March 20th, 2016. God bless everybody. Ciao. Joke of luck. I'm Renee Bree, and we now have Mr. Johnny P on the set. Yay! Yay! We. This has been. When did we book you? Hello, I don't know. A, a while <laughs> ago. Months and months We've been ago. waiting months for this wonderful appearance of this prime TV host. What do I? Oh, this pleasure. How you doing? Good. Good. <laughs> nice to meet you. On, nice right? to see you. Hi. I never met Hello. you before. Hello. We've spoken on the phone Deborah. a number of times. Yes. So. Actually, I talked the whole. Uh, Forget about it. <laughs> we're not. We're not going to get into. Uh, you know. No, it's all good. She's the a friend. timing we're on not, the phone. We're not going to get into that. <laughs> we were having phone sex in the middle of the night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we at four o'clock in the morning with phone sex. <laughs> so Johnny P, the late night show with Johnny P, mm -hmm. like a Johnny Carson kind of thing. Johnny and Carson. it kind of looks like Johnny Carson's show. You do it very well. Thank you, you do so it much. very, very it's well. It's a lot of work, Renee. That's why, you know, no disrespect when I make opinions. It's just after so many years of doing it, uh, you kind of get anal with it. And then when you don't have a budget, you wind up doing everything yourself. Believe us, we know. Because yeah. <laughs> you're not going to get it done if you don't do it yourself. But that's, that's right. You know, it's just a lot of fun. What do you do? I mean, honestly, aside from, I mean, I know the show, but... What do I do for uh, a living? No, 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 no. We'll get into that, but... I know how intense and how much time it takes to put on a show. I mean, not only are you finding the guests and booking them and et cetera, et cetera, but you have to, you know, you have to come up with the timeline. You have to come up with the, uh, you know, the, the video editing at the end. Yeah. So tell us, a, just give us a little, little rundown of how it. 
Uh, you know, listen, it, it's not for everybody, but what do we do? It, it's pretty much if you do a season a year, which I do, I don't go crazy. How so many do, shows in a season? It depends on if I take a little more time off. So I'll do anywhere from 12 to 14 shows. That's good. That's all. Any more than that, forget about it. But uh, it's, like a, it's like a machine. It's a clock. It's just like waking up in the morning every day of the week. So it's, it's, everything is on a schedule from like when we take the show to the next show. So my bookings are usually from three to four months in advance. I usually get but the... we have to get bookings. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get it. I wrote him months yeah, like, ago. He doesn't like even know. Those ads... I wrote him months ago. He doesn't even remember. I'm you sorry. It's all right. But we'll get to that <laughs> later. I love you anyway. That, right. that ad up there, uh, I get my ad That's down. a nice ad. That's what I was telling you. We, we, get out, <laughs> we got no budget, but look, we look like we're huge. <laughs> okay, so the ads come out three weeks before the show. Uh, we film the show, and then we, we start editing. So the editing could take anywhere from 8 to 15 hours, sometimes 18 hours if you have something you really want to musically uh, engineer. Right, sound, right. Sound, I know. Sound and everything. We film in front of a live studio audience, anywhere from 30 to 50 people. That's like good. When we had our great friend Big Ange, God rest her soul. Yes, yeah. yes. We're uh, going to talk about yeah, Big Ange. Yeah, we're going to talk about Big Ange. And Joe oh, Franklin. Oh, there's a picture of me oh, and Ange. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Big Ange. That was taken outside the show. Big Ange. She came to see what us. What show? Oh, uh, you're, big your show? My Big Ange Italian. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. you in that too? Wow. Yeah, we'll yeah. get back to that after. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's funny. It's funny. Uh, uh, just, you know, going back to God and with me. You know, it's funny how we all booked you together. Mm -hmm. And you both knew Big Ange, and she just passed, and we had the opportunity yeah. to talk about her. No, and definitely. And I know you wanted to show a video, which I'm sorry we didn't show, but yeah, we'll show yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, Listen to me. That's all your fault. <laughs> I'm going to bring it at boot camp, Johnny. Oh, hey. Once oh. I'm done with her, forget about it. We love you, Judy. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Judy is the best. No, I'm just teasing with Listen, any friend of Joe Franklin is a yes, friend of mine. Yes. Uh, so let's go back to Big Ange we'll, so we don't get off well, track. We're, going, we're, going, we're, we're actually talking about the production and how the right, show, but right. with Big Ann, say, and Joe Franklin, that was like one of our top, like, three f best shows. Right. Production was a little more less than, but that show was so energetic that night with Joe Franklin and, and Big Ann. Were they on the same show? Yes. Same oh, wow. night. We had oh my a God. couple of hundred requests, and then the night of the show, we had people up the kazoo that were waiting in, in, in the room to get in there. So we wound up squeezing 75 people in the studio, and there were like another 35 people in the halls and, and, and in the green room. It, and the people who run the, this TV station, they let it go because of Joe Franklin. Wow. And Big Ange was just getting huge. So it was just a great, great night. And, and two, An Ange is going to just live on forever. I yeah. mean, she was such a strong personality, great lady, funny lady. Uh, nothing like you see in the mob wives, just a little. I mean, and you know. What, was that an act? I could. Uh, honestly, I gotta be honest with you, I never watched it, never knew who she was until this all came about mm -hmm. that she was on Dr. Oz. Then, you know, she was on Dr. Oz, which I followed Dr. Oz, so yeah. I knew. What, was it all an, was it, was it, was it an act of the way she was acting on the mob show? Uh, on the show itself? Yes. Pretty much, probably. It's not really scripted. Maybe a couple of things are, but that's pretty much them, all of them. Yeah. Uh, some of the stuff is a little more dramatic that they want, like, like with some of the other members in, in the show. They, they get carried away with it. Uh, Ange is pretty much like the, the mother of all of them, mm -hmm. you might wow. say. <laughs> and probably the second mellowest one is Carla on the show. And then and Renee calmed down a lot. Drita's off the, the wall. Right. Karen <laughs> mellowed down a lot. Do you know all of them? I don't know Drita and, and Karen. I just know them from like a wave. Right. You know, uh, Renee, I never had the pleasure of meeting. You have me. You met me. I'm yeah, I met you. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just as good. <laughs> bad or better? Good, not bad. <laughs> You're better. <laughs> we, had, we had love on the show. Uh, she was you awesome. did? I yeah, love love. She's the best. She's the best. You should have no, never No, I got, love love. Yeah, she should, that's good <laughs> no. for you. They should have never got to watch the show. <laughs> And then that's it. You know? They had great ratings because, I mean, who wants to watch a show where, like, you know, five or six women are all getting along? <laughs> they, right, they, right. they argue, they fight, they scream. They, I know. You know, know. it's controversy. And it's people like the love to, they love to watch that, that yeah. stuff, you know. No, it's Ange crazy. was a sweetheart, though. She yeah. was a, she was a yeah. love. I mean, no, you, you, you knew Ange I as well. I don't know her that personally. I mean, I know her sister Janine and, and Dom Dettori. Yeah, yeah, they're great people. They're great people. They, they were in our show a couple of times. Ange was in the show uh, years ago. Uncle and, Nino? Um, I don't know him. But, I know he um, was involved with that as well. Uh, but Dom and I did a radio show a while back. He, we were promoting um, Duchesne's uh, muscular dystrophy for a friend of his. We were doing a fundraiser. Anyway, I got to know them well, and they're just wonderful, wonderful people. That's and then, good. you know, it came out that Andrew was sick with throat cancer, and then yeah. the surgeries, and then this came about, and it's just 
Nobody expected her to pass so soon. We knew that it was golf. I mean, how long did it? T- how long did it take? I don't know. See, I don't know too much. Too much. Uh, I just know what I hear and see because yeah. you know, I have people in my family that got cancer, so it's it's, wow. it's all over the place. It's a terrible thing. It's and, you sad. Know, it's uh, scary. Too. The big odds thing was like three, two or three weeks ago. We saw it the other day. It was yeah. heartbreaking, and then uh, two days later, she passed. It yeah. was just. Two it, days after she was on Dr. Yeah, no, two days. But two probably days, it was probably two, scheduled. It was probably video two before. Day, listen, let me say something. Two days after. You want to talk? Yes, please. <laughs> two days <laughs> after. It was, we're not supposed to be joking at a time like this. Two days after it was aired, that's when she passed, yeah. you know? Well, two, that's what I was saying. It's two days after it was aired. Well, if you let me talk, you would hear what I was trying to say. <laughs> but the media made a frenzy about her, her passing yes. when she hadn't passed at Jess. Yes, I, and I saw you Which come. Is, I saw. I came back came and I was back. like, hey, she's, I got confirmation from a friend. Not yeah. to interrupt you, Johnny, I'm sorry. No. Not to interrupt, but I had gotten a confirmation from a friend who was with them, said she's still with us, but she's hanging on. Like, right. And then oh. like that next morning she had passed. Believe me, I'm very bothered by it. You know, I wasn't yeah. as close as I would have liked to be with Angie, but right. I consider Angie a friend. And and always kept in touch with her, and uh, you know she didn't have to do my show. She did, she, and uh, we're gonna miss you, Angie. You know yeah. you'll always yes. be in our hearts Many and blessings. the families. Yes. You know what I mean? Your, your family, God bless you. Yeah. Rest but in peace. Dominic the Tory is a funny guy. Dom is the best. I love Dominic. He's so funny, and then Janine, they're, they're just great people. You know, Johnny P. Yes, I used to do business. He's great. He's so you love. also had Joe Franklin on. Joe Franklin, Joe Franklin as well was tonight. on there yeah. as well. Yes, Joe Franklin was on as well. It was. Uh, and we were in the green room, and I, I posted something on, on the internet. Joe Franklin whispered in Big Angie's ear. He goes, I want to take you home. <laughs> <laughs> Big Angie says, you're so cute. Now, wait, and that this, was is, this is photos of Judy and, um, jo- and Joe. Oh, and, and wow. Judy. Judy, Andrew, and Joe. Yeah. Yes. See, I, have, so I have a lot of classic shots of this. If I knew, I would have gave them to you. Well, then you'll have to come on the show again. Yeah. Well, you got to uh, send me a car next time and a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> And it's one of, you know, um, well, by that time, we'll have so much money and we'll be so big that we'll be able to I'm do I'm going to come here just to see Madhouse TV. This place, is, this place is great. Isn't I like it great? It. Right? It's see? Nice. Thank you. It's a, ni- it's a nice vibe. Thank you. Kudos to Madhouse. Right? It's not, it wasn't such a bad trip. I thought you were going to have some Fugazi place like in the back of a van. Oh, give <laughs> Renee Marie is <laughs> class. Hello. <laughs> That's why when it was like doing all, I was like. No, listen, Lou Venaria booked me and, and put me through you, and I could never disappoint Lou. I, I almost, Lou I almost, heaven forbid. No, I almost did have to cancel because I'm with the union and we don't work all the time, and I had work today for overtime. But, and Lou goes, you know, you can't, you can't do that. You know, imagine someone doing that to your show. It you know, took me months I go, to get you. You're right. And months. you know what? I'm glad I'm here and I'm on it. I'm here. I'm glad you, you're talking about to me, and I'm a ball buster. What I do you want me to do? But, but I tell you what, Lewis would have never booked you or never promoted me to you or this show if to you. If he didn't think. If he didn't know no, that was I know. the best. And you know what? He's yes. a gentleman. Yes. He's yes. We act- love you, Lou. Yeah, Lou. Lou. Woo! He's an actor that's, that's genuine. He's a real guy, and he doesn't forget where he came from. Right. Yeah. And that's all I can say about him. Louis Venari is going to be on the telethon, too. Tune in on March 20th. Well, maybe I'll sing a song with Louis. Yes, great. yes. Yeah. We work and, a lot. So, yeah. yeah, and I great. and I really and I really really feel that the telethon is about people coming together. You know, when when they sing by themselves, it's wonderful. But when you join with a bunch of people and you sing, that's what life's about. No, it's definitely. A, it's about joining together. With I just want to add that there was a photo of Joe and I when I first met him in 1974. I know I did. I didn't send it to. Um, oh, it's to not there. Your yeah. beat. But I. Oh. <laughs> but didn't I put it on? Didn't I put it on Facebook? Yes. It is. It is. You actually yeah. look like you could be Joe Franklin's sister. You know that? Yes. You do. I, I'd be honest. You resemble each other. <laughs> so um, we're gonna we're gonna have to take a quick break. But before we bake? go, break. we're gonna have a break. break. That's me. I usually hey, mess up. I mess up I the have words. To bake. bake break. <laughs> hey. I always say that wingy is recommended and approved. Oh. Yeah. So that's my theory for this show. Nice. We just. Come up with an outline then. When we want to roll with something, we roll with the punches. And we yeah, have yeah. fun. So we right, so. want, to, want to talk about Tony T. Yes. Tony T. Tony T. Tell a little bit about Tony T, who I spoke to last night, who is an angel. I All love right. Tony uh, T. Okay, then we'll get back on the conversation of what we were talking about before. But okay, yeah, Tony, Tony Trainer's the best. I met Tony Trainer. He's my late night band. He also plays with everybody under the sun. He's a yes. studio yep. musician, union player. When Lou Venaria was on the show, he... Uh, hooked me up with them, and mm-hmm. I was advertising for a late night band. Tony just had all these Mama Lutes and all these crazy people calling me and sending me demos and p- trying to put a big band together. It was like a nightmare. Uh, so then Tony just came up to me and said, 
you looking for a late night band? I go, yeah. He goes, I might be able to help you out. Would you be interested in trying this out? I go, interested in trying you out. I go, you don't have to try out. I go, get him. <laughs> you want, I go, you, you really want to do it? it? And then we up talked, up. and that's it. He's, we don't, he doesn't do every show because he is busy, uh, but we, I try to incorporate him at least 70, 60 to 70 percent of the shows now, which is great. And mm -hmm. then big vibe, if, you know, hopefully one day when we do get a budget. I want to have like a huge orchestra, like, sure. a, like a David Letterman. Yeah, that's but good. But for what he comes Can I be on, a wing girl? Wing? You're like, yes. like, like yes. how that, uh, Johnny yes. had every yes. man. Can I be a wing girl? Yes. Listen, let's get to the show first. All right. <laughs> so we'll talk. Wait, we'll we, talk. But we, we deserve to be booked on your show. No, you will. Yeah. No, I promise. Johnny. I'm you getting strong. I'm going over the place. You, you will be us. on. We can book all of us with Tony T's band and Louis Venario. We can have a really good show. Why don't we have his mother and father on, too? You know, Louis and I. Wait, wait. Louis and I. I'm going to plug. For a second, <laughs> Lewis and I are doing a gig together. We yes. just did a gig, but we're doing another gig at Tabello's Italian restaurant yes. on March 18th. It's a okay. Friday night. You gotta come. Yes. March 18th. March 18th. Right. Suppose. I'm not gonna send a coffee, Johnny, but I'll, I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> right. A drink. I love that. Luke told me. I'll buy you a drink. I'll buy you a drink, but uh, maybe a plate of pasta. But that's it, as far as I know. No, go. it's all good. It's all good. Okay, we're gonna have to take a quick break. Did I say and that? And then we're gonna right? come back. We're gonna come right back. All right, we'll be right good. Back. <laughs> Hey, I'm Tom Mealy, once again coming to you from the fabulous Madhouse TV studios here in Deer Park. And this is about the Mousetrap Cafe. Now, I know that everybody's excited. Everybody wants to get in, everybody wants to book parties, people want to experience what we're going to be offering in the village of Amityville. Unfortunately, folks, there has been a slight delay in construction, uh, weather conditions. It's pushed us back a couple of weeks. So just, just bear with us. Uh, trust me, the experience is going to be exciting. But what I want to talk to you about today is the amount of people that are calling, looking to book private parties. Yes, we would love to have you, and we'd love to have you experience the mousetrap. So this is what I want you to do. Due to the overwhelming response and the amount of people booking, uh, whether it's a, a private party for a, uh, a wedding or whether it's uh, a bar mitzvah, whatever the case may be, I want you to get on the site, go to our contact page, send us an email, let us know the date and the time that you'd like to book and the amount of people. We will respond promptly and we'll get back to you and we'll tell you whether or not that date's going to be available. Lock it in now. It has been surreal on the amount of people that have been calling us, emailing us, that want to experience this, uh, this, this incredible opportunity to be one of the first to enjoy what we have to offer at the Mousetrap. So get on the webpage, send us an email. Uh, go to our contact page. Everything's right there. Let us know. Leave your phone number. Again, the amount of people and uh, the date that you're interested in, and we'll get back to you right away. In the meantime, stay warm. Spring is coming soon, and so are we. Take care. Galaxy Luxury Coach is a full-service limousine and party bus company. Family owned and operated, we are an industry leader with over 25 years of experience in providing best in class luxury transportation for your special event. Whether it's your precious wedding day, an all day wine tour out east, your high school prom, that special birthday, or just an amazing night on the town, our professional chauffeurs stand ready to ensure your special event is truly special. Galaxy Luxury Coach has one of the largest and modern party bus fleets in the New York area. Our party buses are simply nightclubs on wheels. Concert sound systems, light shows, lasers and strobes, multicolor LED lighting brilliantly lights your party bus inside and out. For corporate and more laid back events, we will cater to your specific needs and requests. What sets Galaxy aside from all others in the luxury transportation industry is our attention to detail in customizing our services to your special event. At Galaxy, it's all about you and your guests. Galaxy customers return time and time again because they know they can trust Galaxy to help deliver those lifetime memorable moments. Step aboard and let your Galaxy experience begin. Hi, welcome back to Renee and Marie Stoke of Luck. We're having a blast today and sometimes you just have to let loose and just really have a great time And because most of our shows are very... Um, you know, informative and really very serious and really educational uh, about strokes and aphasia. 
But, you know, in recovery and really a part of life is really to, to enjoy yourself and really have a great time. And we have the best today. We're having a great time with <laughs> yeah. Judy, Johnny, and Deborah. And uh, we're going to go right back to what Johnny was talking about because, of course, I interrupted him. <laughs> you know. I'm so and, bad. <laughs> and he, you know, he's... And maybe this is the Johnny show. Take it away, Johnny. Here's <laughs> Johnny. Well, I love that. Here's hey, 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 Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> Put it this way. The, the wonder why they call it the stroke of love. Because you do good. Stro you stroke guys good. Really good. You make us feel good. <laughs> it's no. not that kind of show. Wait a minute. It's great. <laughs> now, that's but what we say what? in Brooklyn. That's an old saying. Like my father said, he's stroking you. Don't listen to yeah, him. Right. You know what? The truth is that people always say, people, honestly, we've been doing this for almost two years. Right, Judy? Yeah. And people were always um, nervous when they came in. But honestly, it's just, you really just. Kind of You're so a, easy going though. This is there. great. It's awesome. You really just have yeah. a great time, yes, you know, you and that's that's what it's about. That's what it's about. And you know it better than anybody being a host yourself and you as yeah. well and Judy. So we're all kind of our yes. own. Host. No, 100%. Yeah. 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 So tell us a little bit more about the uh, production end of it, which I know to be very, very intense and really. I mean, uh, Bobby always says to me, can you come out with us? And I'm like, no. It's like, why do you always say no? I'm like, because I have responsibilities. I have to take care of, yeah. like, foundation stuff. I have to take videos. I have to take care of, like, it really is a lot. It really is a lot of work. People say, you have a, oh, you're having fun. You're with this. You're hanging out with this celebrity. You're doing that. But they don't realize the, the hard work behind it. Yes, Especially definitely. when you're yes. not, you know. Certain stuff you don't make a lot of money with in this business. Yes. Uh, and what, what I'm doing with public access, thank God, because I've been a producer there for years. Uh, public access is great to anyone. To, I mean, you could do anything and anything. You could be a jerk. You could have fun. <laughs> you know, a lot of people are really serious in their own minds, and they, and, and they do their thing. But you could. It's a great place to make a foundation to your career. Right. If you want that. Right. You know, people. some people just... It's a lot of work, depending on what you want to do. Right. And, you know, I don't even know why I do it sometimes, but then because it's so frustrating and it's you get anxiety and you know you can't have a real life sometimes because you have to get certain things done. You know what though? I used to I used to like when I was growing up being an entertainer. I always wanted to be interviewed and I always wanted this. And but now I really enjoy interviewing mm. and finding out about other people. Yeah. I really you know find that very interesting to find out where you came from, how you got to where you're going, and and it, it's really dynamic and very interesting. Yeah. So. You know, that's why I always want, I mean, I became and a host I feel that way, too, when luck. I interview people yes. for the show. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. This was never in my cards. Mm -hmm. uh, I got into public access in 1997 because I'm, I'm a musician. I'm a drummer. That's what I, that's what hey, I did. you and Tony T. Yeah, that's what I did all my life. I wanted to be a rock star. I tried to make it. We came out with records. But back in 1997, Which you to, have. Get, to get back to the thing, yes. We started a show called The Gangsters of Rock. I pretty much started public access to air my band. Uh -huh. Okay, so I did a show called The Gangsta Rock. It was an underground cable show done in my basement with, a pr with props. <laughs> we used to show gangster clips with rock and roll footage. That was the theme. And I was a wise guy in rock and roll. That's what they called me. That was my <laughs> stage name. <laughs> but like we did about 45 episodes mm -hmm. and then we stopped. But I was a drummer. And then my main band, which I bought some records, was uh, NYB. It's none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> that's my attitude in life. And, and it's in New York. So, I mean... And, and that's pretty much what it comes down to. And that's when I started years late. I started late night in 2008. Wow. So, wow. But I got some of the records here. Do you, you mind? Are you, are you getting fresh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you silly girl. Uh, we got, I don't know if you can see these. You got two records. The first one was the, the uh, Johnny P Project. Well, you know what? I'll, they look um, more like CDs to me. They are CDs. I call them record. I'm dated. I do too. I always say my album. The other you one know? was uh, is a full funny? record. NYB in your face. That's my grandmother on the cover. Oh, that's yeah, so Grandma nice. Connie. She was Love the best. It. I'll take a photo of him and tweet him, and yes. uh, and uh, you know put him on our social media and stuff. And uh, Richie Scarlett, producer who plays with Ace Freely from Kiss. Wow. Uh, oh wow. Big rock wow. star producer. And uh, mm. that's it. We were together for ten years, from '95 to 2005. We toured. We, tr we came out with a couple of uh, music videos. We came out at a bad time because uh, hip hop and rap was so big. Mm, they were wow. not signing any more rock bands, no matter us or whoever. We met with a bunch of record labels because we had an independent record label behind us that I own called Shinebox Records. And uh, there were stacks of garbage pails in all these offices of great bands. Uh, we met with Doc McGee, uh, Interscope Records, you know, everybody. They could take some of these home with you, every place. And bands were better than us. Just as good, right. but we're getting nothing. It was, right. That huh. was just the genre of music that was getting signed. Huh. Me, honestly, music 
the music business went to downhill right, right. when that happened. Yeah. There was there's enough there was enough room for everybody. You, you didn't have to shun certain people. The hip hop and rap thing just blew through the roof. To me, and I like a lot of the stuff. And there's no disrespect to any of you artists out there. I mean, and you got the greats like Jay Z, and you got Snoop right. Dogg, and you got Dr. Right. Dre, and the list goes on. Right. Biggie, blah 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 blah. A lot of these guys are great. Ain't my genre of music, but there's stuff that I do like. Right. Uh, but try picking up a guitar, a drum, mm -hmm, not right. a drum machine. Let's get some real hours of writing in there. I know, right. I know. And that's and it killed the local, yeah, or the, the real artist of, yeah. as a musician, mm -hmm. as, yeah. as me. That's how, yes. you know. The old days, back with the Beatles, they smoke weed, they hang out all, all hours, <laughs> and they write some music. Don't say no, but that. everything was, was, you know, it was a live show. Everything I was said a, back in the day. Was, you know, back musical, and, and uh, somebody played an instrument. It wasn't just a track, it was, you know, you grabbed your axe and you played, whether it was piano, whether it was guitar, whether it was drums, singing, right. whatever it was. Right. Everything was live. Whatever happened live was, was great, and that was the beauty of doing gigs and parties and right. shows and this and that. I loved it when we were doing that. We were yeah. really, really deep into that, and then the industry changed. A lot of DJs came up, yeah. too, and... It just took a lot of the live yeah. work away, but, yeah. you know, you keep persevering. You just so. got to keep doing your thing. I, you know, yeah. I, I try not to get caught up in what's going on in the world. I, I'm aware of it, yes. but I just stay in tune with what I'm supposed what to be doing. Mission? No, I hear and, you. you know, and Run your own race. Yes, Run your that own race. really is important to, to keep going because I believe that God will take care of us no matter what we do. You we, never, we need to. You'll I'll never, second uh, sorry to interrupt you, <laughs> but I still have my train of thought. You'll never see bands again like the Rolling Stones, no, the no. Beatles. Kiss, uh, Avil Smith, the guy, even Black Sabbath at a tournament that they're going to be playing right. the guard next week. Guys like this that are around for 40, 50 years, these guys ain't going to be around that look like that. These guys are, are, are pioneers. These right. are, I like 30, they the face I like of 38 music. special. They're cool, listen, but the, look what happened to them. They crashed and yeah. burned. I mean, uh -huh. now but Guns I like their music, and I like Foreigner. Foreigner's yeah. great. Foreigner. But I Guns N' Roses is now back on tour. Yeah. I yeah. mean, and, and that's a great thing. Hopefully, Axel, if you're watching, if you're probably not. <laughs> Uh, well, we can give me a I, number. I, I, you probably yes. will. <laughs> we could clip this. Say what you want to him. We could clip it and make and sure that he... And I could tweet it to him. If he, you blow this, it's all on you. You can make zillions of dollars off the tour. The fans want to see it. Yeah. I mean, if Kiss did it with Gene, Paul, P, and Ace, you guys could do it. And Come say, on. I want, and I, I want to say it right here. I want Johnny P to be someone's drummer. Oh, listen, I would love... Listen. I want to sing with Johnny P as Johnny P's yes. singer. And yes. he might be listen. my drummer. I don't know. I, you guys are I'm, just saying, I'm just saying things because everybody's saying something. You guys right are giving now. me too much <laughs> credit. <laughs> Put it just, I'm a big, huge Jones and Roses fan. Uh, yeah. Okay, we got we to gotta, we gotta go to this very important Good. questions. Yeah. Oh, Very yeah. incor important questions. What, all right, what do you got? From inside the actor studio. Ooh. Okay? Yes. Sure. So, from James Lipton. Did you ever watch that show? I heard. Inside. I love that show. No, but I never I watched it. it, but it's, I heard. It's oh, wonderful I love it where, where he sits there and he interviews wonderful, huge yes. actors in front yes. of all the um, all the, the students, students that are going to acting school, you know, and he interviews them. And then at the end, he asks these questions They're for both of you. I, Judy, okay. you can a answer as well. Exciting. Okay. Ready, Johnny? Sure. Okay. What is your favorite word? Any word that I can pronounce. <laughs> My favorite word is love. I love you. <laughs> My favorite favorite word is sparkle. Yes. Oh, I Ooh, like that. Yes, sparkle, too. sparkle. Okay, what is your least favorite word? Uh, hell. Okay. What is your least favorite word? Dumb. Dumb. What's your least? No. Favorite? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, that you'll like this one. What turns you on? Mm, forget about it. Mm. <laughs> Uh, I plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> <laughs> what turns you on, Judy? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> That's it. Ice cream, cookies, and sex. <laughs> and that order? No, sex and ice cream and cookies. I'll have ice cream and cookies after sex, so I don't have to don't smoke. So. <laughs> well, that's good. Smoke is not good. Okay. Um, what's, uh, what is your favorite... I shouldn't say that. Never mind. Okay, you can say it. Yeah. Hey, I was going to say, what is your... F no, I don't want to say come it. Come on. <laughs> no, I don't want you to say anything on the, this show. I is, won't. I won't. This is a G-rated show. A G okay, rated I won't. Rated I promise. Show. It's, what is your favorite curse word? Just say the first letter, F. please. Yeah, okay. F, without a doubt. I don't, I don't have that. That's I, not me. <laughs> it's just so, so much. <laughs> what professional profession, other than your own, would you like to attempt in your life? Me? Uh... 
That's a good question. What a profession. Oh, I mean, if I, if I don't make it in front of the camera, I would love to be, I mean, I am an editor. I would love to land myself in a TV station or something like that as a film editor. Yeah, Behind like the that. scenes would be something like that. Yeah. Uh, get me out of construction. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, eventually you'll get out of construction. Yeah, no, that's my goal. To, that's yeah. on my bucket yeah. list. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I would be a um, marine biologist. Really? Yes, I have uh, this love for the water and uh, under the water. Uh, every time a show comes on that's about uh, underwater life, I'm just so wow. fascinated by all that stuff. Wow. So. That's nice. Yeah. A psychologist, weird, right? <laughs> wow. Wow, psychologist. She likes oh, yeah? brain stuff. Yes. <laughs> okay, this is a lot of work. She's analyzing right. right now why no, you call her for a morning. No, you've got to do a couple of people. You're then never going to live that down, Johnny. Never. Listen, it was well deserved. I apologize, but listen, what are you going to do? Forget about it. <laughs> I have a solution to that now. Okay, the last question, and then we have to go to break, and then uh, Vicky, um, Vicky. Deborah's going to sing, then I'm going to sing with Deborah, and then we're going to roll on out. It's been almost an hour already, everyone. Oh nice. can't believe it. Woo! Okay. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say to you when you arrive at the pearly gates? I always remember him saying that. I got your private sweet ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would love for God to say, Deborah, welcome and we're happy to have you because you're you were an awesome person on oh. earth, and I think you'll be awesome here in heaven. Oh, that's, that's what awesome. I would hope God would say to me. And I'd like God to say that He was proud of all the work I did. Yes, and I'm sure He's proud of all of you. You're all wonderful. You know, I'm I'm honored to have all of you on the show today. Oh, I think we 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 have a good friendship now, a yes. new <laughs> new new friendship. Johnny is definitely coming back. Deborah's definitely coming yes. back. We'll come back together, and we're gonna be on Johnny's show too. That's it. We'll be right back. <laughs> Cool, man. Do a live commercial. Hi, I'm Renee Marie, the president and founder of Renee Marie's Language of Love Foundation. I would like to personally invite you to our annual, second annual telethon held here, right here on Madhouse TV. Did you know that nearly 80% of strokes could be prevented? By knowing the signs, and getting to the hospital within a four and a half hour window, you could save your life or someone's you love life or anyone's life. Strokes do not discriminate who it affects and at what time. A stroke can happen at any time and have a, play a huge impact in your life. Do you know what aphasia is? It is a result of a stroke or brain injury, which affects the ability to speak and communicate. Think about how you would feel if you cannot express yourself, even in the simplest forms. I am blessed to say that I am a stroke survivor and can humbly speak of the experience of how it feels to express myself, to not be able to express myself, and not to understand. It is devastating. Please join us Please on join March us. 20th, 2016 on Madhouse TV for our Language of Love Telethon, which supports strokes and aphasia. You can visit our website at www.languageoflovetelethon.org. Together, we are lifting our voices and changing the face of strokes and aphasia around locally and around the globe. God bless you, and I'll see you on Madhouse TV on March 20th, 2016. God bless everybody. Ciao. I'm going to do a live commercial. Hi, I'm Renee Marie, the president and founder of Renee Marie's Language of Love Foundation. I would like to personally invite you to our annual, second annual, telethon held here, right here on Madhouse TV. Did you know that nearly 80% of strokes could be prevented? By knowing the signs and getting to the hospital within a four and a half hour window, you could save your life or someone's you love life or anyone's life. Strokes do not discriminate who it affects and at what time. A stroke can happen at any time and have a, play a huge impact in your life. Do you know what aphasia is? 
It is a result of a stroke or brain injury, which affects the ability to speak and communicate. Think about how you would feel if you cannot express yourself, even in the simplest forms. I am blessed to say that I am a stroke survivor and can humbly speak of the experience of how it feels to express myself, to not be able to express myself, and not to understand. It is devastating. Please join Please us on join March 20th, 2016 on Madhouse TV for our Language of Love Telethon, which supports strokes and aphasia. You can visit our website at www.languageoflovetelethon.org. Together, we are lifting our voices and changing the face of strokes and aphasia around locally and around the globe. God bless you, and I'll see you on Madhouse TV on March 20th, 2016. God bless everybody. Ciao. Welcome back to Renee Marie Stroke of Luck. As always, we're winging it. <laughs> and we decided, Deborah and I decided, to sing together and then sing I Believe in Music. And, um, and we're going to save Deborah's performing until the telethon yeah. for you to have to come back. We're going to do That's What Friends Are For. And, of course, Johnny and Judy are going to do the refrain with us. <laughs> Johnny's got his mic. Show your mic to the people, Johnny. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We're ready. We were born ready. Turn the music down a little bit. Thank you. The words to these songs are very meaningful, especially today, because that's what friends are for. Never thought I'd feel this way, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm glad I got the chance to say. To believe I love you And if I should ever go away Well then close your eyes And try to feel the way we do today And then if you can remember Here we go, everyone Keep smiling, keep shining Knowing you For sure, that's what friends are for. For good times and bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. That's what friends are for. Well, you can't. So much more I see And so by the way I thank you Oh then For the times when we're apart Well then close your eyes And know these words Are coming from my heart And then if you can remember Here we go everyone Join in, let's go Keep smiling Keep shining, knowing you can always count on me. For sure, that's what friends are for. For good times and bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. That's what friends are for. Keep shining, knowing you can always count on me. For sure, that's what friends are for. For good times and bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. Hey, Renee, that's what friends are for. Let's wave. Come on. Let's sway. Come on. We're not calling. 
rolling out. We're going to sing one more song. Come on, let's sway to the music. Let's go. No, Johnny, you have to go the same way. Johnny, you have to go the same way. No, let's, let's wait. Let's wait for him. Okay. John, yep. Stevie Wonder. Let's go. Wait. That's what friends are for. That's what friends are for. Keep smiling. Woo! Keep shining. All right. All right. Music is a language of love. We're going to roll right into I Believe in Music because music is a language of love. Before we go, I'm really going to thank everybody. Johnny, it was a pleasure. It was. It was a pleasure. You're, you are funny. <laughs> <laughs> and Deborah, I'm a funny guy. it was a blessing. Love you, Renee. Deborah. I love you. Yeah, I'm gonna watch in the studio. No, no, no. no. You have no. to stay. You have to stay You're now. Not going no, you're yeah. trapped. Listen, because this we all blow kisses at the end. Yeah. So you gotta be a part of the blowing kisses. <laughs> Here we go. Listen to the words. I can just sit around making music all day long As long as I'm making my music I can't do nobody wrong And who knows, maybe someday I'll come up with a song That makes people want to stop the fussing and fighting Just long enough to sing along Let's go! I and I, I believe in love. That's it. Music is love, and love is music, if you know what I mean. And people who believe in music are the happiest people I've ever seen. So clap your hands, stomp your feet, and shake your tambourine. Find out what it really means to be young and rich and free. Let's go! I believe in music and I, I believe in love. Let's go one more time. I believe in music. Lord knows that I I believe in love. Let's go. Music is a universal language and love is the key. To find brotherhood, peace, and understanding and living in harmony. So take your brother by the hand and sing along with me. And find out what it really means to be young and rich and free. Let's go! I, I believe in music. Lord knows that I, I believe in love. One more time, let's go! I believe in music. Lord knows that I, I believe in love. Let's blow our kisses. Have a wonderful day. God bless. We'll see you uh, in two weeks. And we'll see you on March 20th, 2016 on Madhouse TV for the Stroke Language of Love Telethon. We're rolling out. Let's go. Woo! Believe in music. Lord knows that I, I believe in love. Let's blow kisses. <laughs>